Hey everyone, Taylor Reed here with Championship Behavior Academy. So excited for this video. This topic for this video is all about self-worth. Now I know that's a big topic and it can be a little bit scary. It's a little scary for me as well. But I'm gonna start off with the definition. The definition of self-worth or self-esteem, whichever one you like, the definition is the confidence in one's own abilities. Now I'm gonna repeat that. The confidence in one's own ability. How confident are you in you? <laughs> that's what self-worth is and that's what self-esteem is. So I don't know, again, I might be the only person that has ever dealt with this, but I really don't think so. Have you ever made a mistake, messed up, done something wrong, shanked the ball, missed the point, missed the ball, missed the hit, missed something, just didn't do it the way that you were supposed to or that you knew to do it. And you immediately thought, man, I'm such a screw up. Ugh, I'm such an idiot. Ugh, I'm so stupid. Oh my gosh, why am I on this team? And if you haven't thought that, I can almost guarantee you've thought, oh my goodness, everybody's looking at me. Oh, everybody saw that horrible mistake I just made. Oh, what are they thinking? Oh, they're, they, why am I on this team? They're thinking I shouldn't even be here. Or you're thinking somewhere along the lines of, oh, she shouldn't be here. Oh, why did coach even put her on the team? Does she even know how to play the sport? One of those things have definitely gone through your mind and it just makes you feel real crummy inside. It stinks, it's not fun. You feel like everybody's watching you. A stage light is right on you and not in the good way, right? Some key things to remember is even in those situations, sometimes you need to step back and realize, are people really looking at me? Are people really focusing all about me? Or was it just one mistake that I made, right? One of my coaches told me, Anytime he made a critique or coached us was, hey, you're not a bad person. You just made a mistake. Now it's time to learn, right? Sometimes we get so wrapped up in how we perform and what we do right and wrong on how we are as a person. They commingle. But in all honesty, they don't necessarily need to. I'm a volleyball player and my name's Taylor, but when I play on the court, my name is Tamo. My former name is Taylor Morgan. So Tamo comes out and I'm ready to play and I'm aggressive and I'm a go-getter. But Taylor is a little bit more reserved, a little bit more quiet, not all the way quiet, but a little bit more reserved. So Tamo doesn't allow, or not anymore, allow what her mistakes dictate who she is as an athlete. Now, it's been a long time coming. I've been playing volleyball for 15 years. It's crazy to even think. But I've been playing for a long time and this has been a long uphill battle. And I just wanna help you in areas that so it's not that long. You're not taking 15 years to figure it out. You're not taking 10 years. You're not even taking a full season. You're taking the proper steps right now to get it in and get it through your head. Another thing that people tend to get wrapped up in is performance anxiety. Now, a lot of you might be thinking, wow, Taylor, these are two big topics that can be separate in itself. And you are right, but they definitely do come into play together. Now, has any of you ever felt that in order for me to think that I'm doing good within my sport or I'm a good athlete or I'm good at this, it's dictated on what other people are doing? Why are you letting five other, six other, seven other girls determine how you are? You know, they might be going through their own life, their own stuff. They may have a good day or a bad day, but that does not determine how good you are. So with all that being said, I have a challenge for you. The challenge is how can I be confident with myself and with my performance? First and foremost, in order to be confident in something, you have to practice. 
just like guitar, just like swimming, just like volleyball. In order to be good, in order to reach that next level, you have to practice. Same with you. You have to practice on you. So the first one is set mini goals. Mini goals. Hey, I'm going to make my bed today. It can be personal or it can be with your sport. Whichever one. Set these mini goals. Set them for yourself. Set them for your team. Just set them. And each day, I want you to really focus on them. So mini goals and big goals. Hey, I have a big goal for myself by the end of this season. I want to be an All-American. For the end of this season as a team, I want to win state. Everybody on your team has a personal goal and a team goal. Focus on those two and you will go a long way. Okay? Number two, very important, write them down. Now, I don't know. It's crazy. But when you think things and then you write them down, you're more... You're cognizant of it, you're more likely to follow through with it. Once it's down on paper and you can see it, you're more likely to follow through with it. And the last thing, and I think this is truthfully the most important, is to celebrate your wins. I know it's really hard and a little cringy at times, but celebrate. When you do something right, congratulate yourself. You know what? I did a good job. Hey, I made my bed this morning. Good job, Taylor. Look in the mirror and say, you know what? You did a good job. So that's the challenge for this week. Be sure to follow along on all social media. We have Instagram, Facebook, tw TikTok, not Twitter, TikTok, and here on YouTube. Be sure to follow, like, subscribe, DM, post, repost, tell a friend. Get it out there. Get CBA, Championship Behavior Academy, out there because I want to help you reach your next level. All right? See you guys. I love you. And keep in mind, in order to be a champion, you have to behave like one. Until next time, guys. Bye.